Hello, I'm Sarah from Allcraft TV and for today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to crochet this super relaxed and comfy kimono. But before I show you the pattern, I just wanted to say a big thank you to the 1000 people who subscribe to our channel. We really appreciate your support, so thank you so much for subscribing and we hope that you enjoy our tutorials that are coming up soon. This kimono is easy to crochet and it works up quickly. You can use cotton or a thin acrylic yarn if you want to wear this kimono in spring or summer to keep you nice and cool. Or you can use a thick acrylic yarn if you want to wear this kimono in fall or winter to keep you warm. I hope you enjoyed crocheting this kimono and if you did, please hit the like button and if you would like to see more, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And with that, let's get crocheting. I will be using a thicker acrylic yarn, which is about 12 ply, because I want to wear mine in winter. But if you are heading into summer, you can use a cotton or thin acrylic yarn. I also used about 500 grams to make a size medium to large. And I'm using a 6.5 millimeter hook. You will need a yarn needle and scissors. To begin, you need to make a slip knot. We need to chain in multiples of 3 plus 2 to be able to make the pattern. So I needed to chain a total of 144 plus 2, so that's 146, so that the chain went from the back of my hip over my shoulder, then reaches the front of my hip. I will just be making a swatch to show you the pattern, so I'm just going to chain 24 plus 2 but obviously your starting chain will be a lot longer than mine. Once you have your desired chain, skip the first two chains from the hook and do one double crochet into the third chain. Into the fourth chain from the hook, double crochet one. Into the fifth chain from the hook, double crochet one. Now just double crochet one in each chain. I am just finishing the rest of my chain and once you have done the double crochets all the way to the end of the chain you have finished row 1. For row 1 I have a total of 24 double crochets but you will have a lot more double crochets than I do. For row 2 you will need to chain 2 and turn your work. Double crochet 1 into this very first stitch because the chain 2 is just a turning chain and it doesn't count as a double crochet. Double crochet 1 into the next stitch. Double crochet 1 into the next stitch. Double crochet 1 into this stitch and just keep double crocheting 1 in each stitch along the row and I will meet you up near the end of row 2. So I'm just at the end of row 2, just finishing my last few double crochets. Into this last stitch, we need to just double crochet 1 to finish row 2. Now that row 2 is finished, you should have 2 rows of the solid double crochet pattern. For the next 3 rows, we will be doing the granny stripe pattern. So to begin row 3, we need to chain 3 and turn our work. Do 1 double crochet into the very first stitch. Now skip 2 stitches and into the third stitch, double crochet 3. That's one double crochet, two double crochets, 
and 3 double crochets. Skip 2 stitches and into the 3rd stitch double crochet 3. That's 1 double crochet, 2 double crochets and 3 double crochets. Just keep repeating this pattern along your row. I will meet you up near the end of row 3. I am just doing my last double crochet 3 cluster into this stitch. Now into the last stitch we need to double crochet 2 to finish row 3. And that is the first row of the granny stripe finished. To begin row 4 we need to chain 3 and turn our work. Into this first space between the 2 double crochet and the 3 double crochet clusters we need to double crochet 3 into that space. So we are working in the spaces not the stitches for row 4. That's 1 double crochet, 2 double crochets and 3 double crochets. Into this next space double crochet 3. That's 1 double crochet, 2 double crochets and 3 double crochets. Into this next space along the row double crochet 3. That's 1 double crochet, 2 double crochets and 3 double crochets. And just continue this pattern along the row. I will meet you near the end of this row. This is my second last double crochet 3 cluster. Now into this space here double crochet 3. That's 1 double crochet. 2 double crochets and 3 double crochets. To finish row 4 double crochet 1 into the chain of 3 from the previous row. So there should be 1 double crochet on each end of this row. And that has completed your second granny stripe row. Row 5 is the last granny stripe row so we will be repeating row 3. So chain 3 and turn your work. Into this first stitch here double crochet 1. Now skip this first space here and go into the second space and double crochet 3. That's 1 double crochet, 2 double crochets and 3 double crochets. Double crochet 3 into the space double crochet 3 into the next space along and just keep repeating this pattern along the row. To finish row 5 Double crochet 3 into this last space. Now double crochet 2 into the chain of 3. You should have 2 rows of solid double crochet stitches and 3 rows of the granny stripe. 
Row six to seven will be the solid double crochet rows. So to begin row six, you need to chain two and turn your work. Into this first stitch, we need to double crochet one. And now double crochet one into the next stitch. Double crochet one into the next stitch after that. And now just repeat this pattern, putting one double crochet in each stitch all the way along the row. I'll meet you up near the end of row six. I am just finishing row six now. So into this last stitch, we just need to double crochet one to finish row six. Make sure you count your stitches at the end of row six. You should have the same number of stitches as row one. So that would be 24 stitches for me. To begin row seven, chain two and turn your work. Double crochet one into the very first stitch. Double crochet one into the next stitch. Double crochet one into the next stitch after that. And just double crochet one in each stitch along the row. I'll meet you up near the end of row seven. To finish row seven, double crochet one into the last stitch of the row. You should have two rows of the solid double crochets, three rows of the granny stripe, and two rows of the solid double crochets. For the next eight rows, we will be doing the granny stripe pattern again, so that would be row eight to 15. To begin row eight, chain three and turn your work. Double crochet one into the very first stitch. Now skip the next two stitches and double crochet three into the third stitch. That's one double crochet, two double crochets, and three double crochets. Now skip the next two stitches and double crochet three into the third stitch. That's one double crochet, two double crochets, and three double crochets. Now skip the next two stitches and double crochet three into the third stitch. That's one double crochet, two double crochets, and three double crochets. And just repeat this all the way along the row. I will meet you up near the end of row eight. I am just doing my last double crochet three cluster for row eight. Now into this last stitch, we need to double crochet two. Now you just need to repeat rows four to five for seven more rows. So to begin row nine, chain three and turn your work. Double crochet three into the space between the two double crochets and the three double crochets from the previous row. Into the next space, double crochet three. Into this next space, double crochet three. And just repeat this along the row. I am just doing my last double crochet three cluster. So that's one double crochet, two double crochets, and three double crochets. Now double crochet one into this chain three to finish row nine.
To begin row 10, just chain 3 and turn your work. Into the first stitch, double crochet 1. Now double crochet 3 into this next space between the 3 double crochet clusters. Into the next space, double crochet 3. Into the next space, double crochet 3. Now repeat this pattern and I'll meet you near the end of row 10. I am just doing my last double crochet 3 cluster. And now that that's finished, into this chain of 3 we just need to double crochet 2 to finish row 10. For row 11 to 15, repeat rows 9 to 10 and I will leave you to do that so you can pause the video here. I am just finishing row 15 now. So you should have two rows of the solid double crochets, three rows of the granny stripe, two rows of the solid double crochets and eight rows of the granny stripe pattern. We are going to finish off this rectangle by doing five rows of the solid double crochet pattern. So to begin row 16 we need to chain two and turn our work. Double crochet one into the very first stitch. Now double crochet one in each stitch along the row. To finish row 16, double crochet one into the very last stitch. Just remember to count your stitches to make sure that you have the same number of stitches as row one. To begin row 17 to 20, simply chain 2 and turn your work. Double crochet 1 into the first stitch. Now double crochet 1 in each stitch along the row. To finish row 17 to 20, double crochet 1 in the last stitch. I will leave you to do row 18 to 20 and I will meet you up near the end of row 20. I am just finishing row 20 now. And to finish and secure the work, just chain 1 and pull up the loop, then cut off your yarn and pull the loop through. Your work will be a lot longer than my swatch, but basically this is the pattern you will need to follow for the two rectangles. So this is one of my rectangles or panels. We started from here and I have already folded it in half. And it will be worn lengthways or vertically with an armhole made on this side and the other rectangle will be attached here. I also joined the work together to form an arm but as you can see I also did in fact fold the work in half to be able to sew up the side to make a space for your arm. This is the second rectangle that has been folded in half. I'll be showing you how to join the work together to make the armhole for the other rectangle. And it will need to be even on both sides. I have already joined the two rectangles together using the whip stitch just under halfway of the join. 
and you will need to do that as well. Now I'm going to show you how to whip stitch the sides together for the arm and you will need to do this on both sides and then join the middle together as well. To join the sides of the two rows of the double crochet, grab your yarn and needle and start at the bottom where it opens. So slide the needle through the two stitches on each side and pull the yarn through. Now slide the needle and yarn through the next two stitches on each side and pull the yarn through to whip stitch. Slide the needle and the yarn through the next two stitches along and pull the yarn through to whip stitch. Just continue this along the edge until you have enough room to put your arms through. To secure the join, tie the yarn together, then weave in the ends. Now you have a place for your arms. You will need to do this on both sides. Also join this section together using the same joining method until you get just under halfway, then secure the work. If you want this to be a tunic instead of a kimono, just simply sew up this side as well in the middle, so both sides in the middle will be sewn together, and you will leave a place to put your head through the tunic. And that is the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed crocheting this kimono that can be worn in all seasons depending on the type of yarn that you choose to use. You can also make this kimono as colourful as you want or as plain as you want. I just chose to do it in white because white goes with everything and so does black. And I'm pretty boring as well when it comes to colour choices. <laughs> but if you have any questions you can comment them below. Also if you are new please hit the like and subscribe button to become part of the All Craft TV community and so that you can create any of my already posted or upcoming crochet projects. Thanks for watching, I will see you next time. Have a lovely day.